What's going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. We are in Warframe. We are talking Nami Scholars today in this build. It's my first Melee 2.0 build that I've kind of brought out. They're going to take a little bit longer to do these Melee 2.0 builds because there's so much involved in them, and I've had to run the cards so many different ways, the mods, until I find the combination that I like best on the weapons. So just bear with me. Uh, in addition, I still have to get a number of stance mods, uh, but I do have some, and uh, so I'm happy I've got this Nami Scholars all set up for you. First off, let me just tell you, this is a build based off of how I play and how I enjoy it. I know many of you do enjoy my build, so feel free to try them out and let me know what you think of it, how it works for you. If, however, you have a build that is different than mine, um, there's nothing wrong with that. Please do feel free to leave it in the comments below. If, some, if your build is different and somebody else can benefit from it, please do leave it below. That is fine. It is perfectly fine. Not everybody's going to like this build. Not everybody's going to enjoy the build. It's not a perfect build for somebody, it's a perfect build for me, it's a perfect build for somebody else, not for not for everybody. So, you know, everybody's got their own way of doing it. So just keep that in mind. If you've got one, feel free to leave it below uh, and let other people uh, try to enjoy it too. And they can uh, communicate back with you and say if they like it or not. But, with that said, we're in Melee 2.0. We are starting with a stance mod. Uh, on this one, I am using the Crossing Snakes. I can pull off most of these combos fairly easy, they're fairly simple to do, um, and I find that they work very well on this one. Um, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mods of uh, combinations on here, fairly easy to pull off. Not all combinations are easy to pull off with these stance mods, and personally I'd like to see the button combinations slightly different than just all E's, uh, to be honest. I'd like to see something in there, but I don't know what the limitation is uh, onto the, piece, the PS4. To be honest, I know you, you probably using most of your um, buttons, if not all buttons, on your PS4 controller already. So that may be where the issue is. Uh, but I'd like to see on the PC. I'd like to see some kind of change here, if possible, to make it easier for people to pull off combinations. As I said, not all are easy to pull off. But with that said, basic um, stats on this weapon: uh, impact 7.5, puncture 7.5, slash 35, spin attack is 300. Nice. Leap attack is 100, not bad. Wall attack is 200. Attack speed of 0.9. Critical is not really there, 1.5 times 5%. Status chance is only 10%, and stamina was 12. That's your basic stats on this weapon. Where I am at on this, I've come up with a 24 impact, 43.2 puncture, 280 slash, 240 corrosive, 35 23 spin attack, 1174 leap attack, 2348 wall attack. Uh, 0.7 attack speed. I did not touch critical or status on this, and my stamina is up to 15. Um, and we all know that stamina does play a role in this, as well as energy at this point. So, uh, there is a lot to talk about. So let's start off with the... <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. The basic damage numbers here, and how we increase the basic damage. We're going to add a pressure point, which is 90... Uh, which is 125... Uh, I can't speak. 120% melee damage additional base damage uh, we are going to add a jagged edge in here uh, for the slash damage really increase the slash multiplier here uh, so now we're up to 210% um, base damage and basically we're focusing on the uh, slash damage okay on addition to that we're going to add in this bold strike here another 100% damage even though I'm going to negatively impact my attack speed which is not big significant here it's only 20% uh, I get 100% additional damage, so now we are effectively at 310% additional bonus damage. Um, and then I'm actually going to even add the rendering strike, bringing my uh, melee slash damage up to 310% increase, and the puncture damage as well is going to increase um, to 280%. Um, so that's pretty good. That's how I bring up my base damage multipliers, and, or base damage. And the reason I'm bringing up my base damage is because of the combo counter. About two and a half minutes into this video, uh, you saw the combo counter come up. The combo counter is based off of your base uh, melee damage, uh, and it increases that melee damage. So uh, when I pulled off uh, one and a half times the base damage, if you figure my base damage is 370, that's one and a half times, it's 700, 800 plus base damage on a, on a kill. Yeah, it gets pretty, pretty good, especially in high levels. When you're pulling off those combo multipliers, it's really going to increase uh, on the damage, which is why I put in so much base damage that I could for this. It is not based off of your combinations that you get in your stance. 
it is based off of kills that you get in a row. Keep that in mind, okay? And the multiplier increases um, two times, two and a half times, three times, based off of the number of kills you get consecutive hits in a row uh, as it increases, okay? Um, okay, so that's base damage. Now, back to the weapon. I am now going to start focusing in here on uh, channeling damage, so I'm going to add a killing blow, uh, giving me 120% channeling damage. All right. On top of the killing blow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add in a focus energy, which is going to give me another plus 40% channeling damage and another uh, extra base damage. Uh, electrical damage here uh, for my start of my elemental uh, but that 40% channeling damage so that's 160% channeling damage that I'm putting in this weapon um, I, I am not doing anything to really uh, uh, decrease my efficiency in this weapon on my channeling efficiency so what it's doing is the channeling is going to use every time I use my energy attack my channel attack uh, which would be basically holding down your left mouse button in this case um, I'm going to use five points out of my energy pool that I have on my warframe so energy siphon is going to be a big kicker to have available on your warframes at this point because this the weapons are definitely energy uh, users and if you're in really high levels and you're holding that energy thing down you're gonna burn through energy pretty quick so having an ability to recharge that energy is always good um, okay so yeah so that's where we're at so now we're, we're adding in the extra 160 percent channeling damage um, and obviously channeling damage increases your warframe damage here your basic damage by an additional 50 percent um, and it also causes a staggering effect um, and you can use a finisher attack if you've got a finisher mod on there, but I don't even bother with finisher mods. Uh, I'm not too worried about getting finisher attacks and making it all look pretty. Uh, I want the damage and I want it done pretty good. So that's why we've got it set up like that. Now, in addition to the focused energy, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've added a uh, fever strike, max fever strike for uh, extra poison damage, giving me a plus 90%. So that's how I get my corrosive. Corrosive we know is best used inside the voids, but it can be used pretty fairly decently along in the regular missions as well. Um, but it is really great to use inside the voids, so you can do some major void runs with this. And I've done tier 3 void runs with this very successfully, no problem. Um, yes, I've died a couple times, but that's just my Warframe setup. That's not has nothing to do with the melee weapon. I can pretty much kick the butt of any enemy right now with this build as it is. Now, what I've done instead of using a parry mod... Um, I've skipped out on the parry mod because I found that the while parrying and blocking the damage is good, if you're adding a parry mod in here, it's really killing your stamina, and we know that when you block damage, your stamina goes down from the block, so I've just left it as basic. I block some of the damage, um, but instead of using a parry where I could block almost 100% of damage, um, I'm skipping that, and I'm just, just using the basic stuff that's in here. Um, uh, for channeling efficiency, I just should state that there is a level cap of 80%. Okay, so there are multiple different channeling mods. There's the, uh, the one that I'm using, of course. There's also Reflex Coil, which gives you 60% channeling. So, But you don't want to combine those to be more than 80% because you're just going to miss out at that point. And I don't think you really need to. It just depends on your setup. Obviously, I'll use it in some build, but not in this one. Um... So finally, the last thing that I'm adding to this is I'm actually adding a max out energy channel. So what this is doing is going to convert uh, plus 200% of the energy used to bonus damage on my next melee attack. So when I'm using my energy, uh, when I'm pushing and holding that left mouse button, it's going to take plus 200% of that damage and put it onto my next melee attack. And what it'll also do is store up to 200 bonus damage. Okay, so this is really holding my damage um, for the next one that I've got to kill. So if I'm taking out some small level guys and then I go for the big guy, now I've got that additional bonus damage on me right there when I go to take out, you know, one of the, the heavy gunners or one of the, the 
bigger infested um, whatnot. So that is really nice to have in here, and that's where I'm, I'm really liking this. I've changed this one out with Reflex Coral. I've changed it with Parry. I've changed it with a few other things, and I really like having the energy channel with the additional bonus damage build up in it to make it much more effective. You do have to think a little about, you know, I'm killing these guys. Now I need to go kill a big guy because I've got this stored up and, um, damage, but for the most part, it's nice to just have it there, um, and you know that you're going to always pretty consistently have that extra bonus damage built up in it. So, that is my setup in here. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the uh, comments below. Uh, I'm going to throw this setup right now on here. Uh, this is the final setup. I've had to switch videos a little bit just so that way you had some extra footage in here. But this is the final build right here. Um, as I've got it, it is pretty good. Let me know what you think about it. Please do leave some comments. Uh, like the video if you did. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And stay tuned for much more, guys. I will talk to you soon. Thank you again for watching. See you later. I'm not a man, 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 I'